This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. gang, Larry Vickers out here at the range today with the HK G41. This was a 5.56 assault rifle that HK attempted to kind of go after the M16 series, and frankly, it was a failure. Introduced in the 1980s, it was a direct competitor to the Colt M16 series. It is essentially a roller-locked HK33 modernized and tweaked with some M16 style features, which the HK33 does not have such as forward assist. You can also see it has a dust cover on the ejection port. This particular weapon has an integrated carrying handle, of course, different, but also targeting directly at the M16 series. These push pins in the rear, of course, are classic HK, but they're set up a little bit different than you see on the MP5 or the HK33. On this side, you see a bolt release, bolt hold open device, bolt release, also the magazine releases on this side. The magazine is reverse compatible with an M16 magazine, but what's interesting with this one, this is the original steel M16 style magazine that HK brought to the table. They later brought it to the table for their British SA-80 rebuild contract, and it was also used here in the United States for the M16 and M4 series. It's kind of now went by the wayside. It's made out of steel. It's durable, but it's heavy. One of the things that has going for it, it kind of introduced the anti-tilt followers. On this particular follower, no matter how it's pushed down, it always tracks straight down and straight up, which was innovative at the time for an M16 magazine. The scope mount is different than what you see on an MP5 or on the G3. It's a little bit different, more of an upgraded version. You also see on the HK21 belt-fed weapon. Sights are largely the HK standard you see on the G3 and MP5. Flash suppressor, weight is right around nine pounds. The barrel length on this model is just shy of 18 inches. They also made a K or shortened version with a barrel length right around 15 inches. This has a burst trigger mechanism, a little bit different than the one on the M16A2. This one has safe, semi, three shot burst, and full auto. Well, the one on the M16A2 has a memory to it. The HK ones don't. What I mean by that is, you shoot an M16A2, gun runs dry after a couple rounds, you put a new mag in it. If it's on three shot burst, the next time you pull the trigger, you're getting one round. You're getting the memory of the burst prior to having to reload the magazine. This one, you run dry after two rounds, put a new magazine in it. When you pull the trigger, you get three shots again. A more complicated trigger mechanism, but actually much better if you need a burst mechanism in your weapon. This gun didn't do very well around the world. It was targeted specifically at the M16 series, and it was only saw very, very limited use. It's a much heavier weapon, frankly, not nearly as soft to shoot, and, and frankly, not nearly as reliable as the M16 series. The HK G3, very robust, reliable weapon in 7.62 NATO. The HK MP5, very robust, reliable weapon in 9mm. The HK33, which was the gun in between, had some dilemmas to it. I talked to my buddy who's recently passed away, Blake Stevens, collector of grade publications. He made a, a good point. HK was never really able to perfect that 5.56 cartridge in a roller delayed lock platform. Reason being, Essentially, the bolt head is more or less the size of the one you see in the MP5 and 9mm, but the pressures of the cartridge are more or less what you see in 7.62 NATO. It was very difficult to combine that in a package that uses this operating mechanism. We're fixing to light it up for you. HK G41, ammo on deck, courtesy of MagTech. Stay tuned.
Hey, Larry Vickers here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click here to subscribe to the Vickers Tactical Channel and take time out to check out some of our other favorite videos.